Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ninja Knight. Make sure you like the video, make sure you share the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I've dropped my Patreon link in the description down below if you'd like to join me there. Thank you. So today we have images of something that had been rumoured in the last couple of weeks, which is this Mandalorian Black Series credit collection. It had a lot of people scratching their heads, but today Hasbro has given us some images of what this credit collection is. It's no surprise that Hasbro has decided to go down this route because of how successful the retro card line has been for them. It has been absolutely fantastic stuff as a fan of Star Wars to be getting these Kenner inspired cards with this beautiful artwork that accompanies the figures. I'm absolutely a massive fan of this and I even love seeing the Star Wars logo and the episode and now the show logo being on this. I think this looks absolutely stunning and I can imagine that this Mandalorian character is going to be very sought after just as much as Boba Fett was who was an exclusive. So what is this credit collection? Well it seems like that they're giving us a new repaint of the Mandalorian himself and they're accompanying it with these credits. So something that featured within the show itself. So I'm sure that that will get an awful lot of people interested in this line. Zooming in and having a look at the figure, I think it looks very nice. Is it accurate to what it looks like in the show? No. It seems to be featured on an old kind of stock with very vibrant colours, which I think looks very, very well. It seems like these characters as well are more battle damaged and battle torn than what they have been shown in the standard releases of these characters. So that is also another interesting point in my opinion. I think the Mandalorian here looks absolutely stunning. And I think within this packaging, it looks absolutely quality. I can see that this one being a very sought after figure. And I hope Hasbro realise this and produce enough of this figure. Rather than this being scalped and people buying 10 and 20 of them. And selling them from upwards of mad money. The next image we're going to look at is a more up close version of the character and this is why i'm saying that the colors don't quite match what was on the show we're seeing this green sort of splatter on the face of the mandalorian which is quite interesting and i'm sure there are a lot of people out there that will view this character and view this i suppose repaint as a brand new all new character which would be absolutely fine I love the vibrant and different colours that are being shown on this Mandalorian as I think it really stands out and personally I will probably purchase two, one to keep in package and one to take out and perhaps be an all new brand new Mandalorian given the fact we've recently gotten the Beskar armoured Mandalorian. I really like the colours on this, I think that this looks really nice. I've purchased the Kenner Boba Fett so again this really tickles my fancy. The next character again we're seeing is the Mandalorian and it's an official image from Hasbro with the credit here. So I think that this looks really nice. I love the way the rifle is pegged in on the back and we can see a more full image here of the Mando and the green sort of KB has. I suppose that might be inspired by Boba Fett and we're getting to see the armor. So see what I'm saying about the various pieces of battle damage that are along the cape and on the armor itself there's lots of splatter as well too which i think looks really nice i think this, this looks really cool and looks like he has been in a very big battle i think the credit looks very interesting as well too and this seems to be the only place that we can get credits at the moment especially with these figures the next character we get to see here is the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. And notice that the credit with the Mandalorian himself, Din Djarin, is gold. So we see a silver version of it here with the Heavy Infantry Mandalorian. I think that this looks really nice as well too. Is there much of a change from the original release? Not really. But it's very welcome to see that this character is included again. And this is an example of Hasbro making sure they're getting their money out of this mould as much as possible. I still think that this looks really nice. And this could be another character that I would pick up as well too. Because I was a big fan of this character. We see a more close up image of the character here. And this is very very nice. I think I like again it's showing us the splatter lines. This damaged armor which i think looks very nice and the splattering even continues on to the gun which is quite interesting given the fact that we have not had much in terms of battle damage on the guns within the star wars black series this looks really cool in my opinion and i'm very excited to see this in person this is another instant boy in my opinion 
I don't think the colours are as vibrant on this one as they are on the Mando, and that's okay. But we do have a lighter shade of blue than we did on our standard edition heavy infantry Mandalorian. I love the silver on the credit though. I think the silver looks absolutely outstanding. The next character that we have is of course the fantastic Cara Dune. So Cara Dune is being shown here with all of her accessories and in a more green motif. And what's interesting when we zoom in and have a look at her is the hair colour that is being shown. So this splatter pattern seems to be going across the whole line here. Here's a more close up image of Cara Dune and you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There is a green sort of splatter going across her left hand side and we can see it continue throughout the uniform. This is a character that has gained a massive following particularly from fans given the fact that she has been so strong on social media recently. This is very very interesting and again is it show accurate? Not really but I suppose Hasbro are trying to get as much as they can out of these molds as possible. I'm excited for this one. I still have not got my own standard edition Cara Dune and I am looking to get her very very soon as I'm a big fan of Cara Dune. The next character that we see is an Imperial Death Trooper. So the Imperial Death Trooper comes with a more bronzed, I suppose copper, version of the credit, which is very interesting. His armour, of course, as we know, is sleek and black. Here it looks more grey and it looks like it has plenty of brown in it to simulate the rusting that would have happened to the Empire after the Empire had fallen, as we had seen some remnant stormtroopers their armour starting to get weak, to get ratty looking, to get tatty looking and to have multiple spots of dirt within those suits. So the Imperial Death Trooper is a surprise I suppose but it was a character that did pop up towards the end of the Mandalorian with Moff Gideon. So very interesting to see. He has a more copperish type of credit similar enough to Cara Dunes who might be a couple of shades lighter than this one. The last character is IG-11. And he features a very unique looking credit where it is very dark. It seems like it's a very dark brown. And we seem to have a very light copperish sort of mixed in with gold version of IG-11 right here. We have some blues as well too that helps it to break up. And the bandoliers seem to be in a very lighter plastic. Similarly maybe possibly to a purple or a sort of blue. This looks very interesting. I think that this is personally probably the weakest out of the credit collection line. And like I said earlier on, I think that the Mandalorian himself will be the more popular of all these characters. What do you think about the credit collection? Is it something that you're going to purchase? Is the Mandalorian the character that you think will sell out instant, nearly instantly and charge a high price online afterwards? Personally, I think of Hasbro or Wires, they would very much so produce a lot of Mandalorian, particularly Din Djarin, given the fact that he sells very, very well in any form that they have done with him. I'm surprised to see, not see, well, I'm surprised not to see the child included in this line. It would have been nice, perhaps, if they had included him with the Mandalorian. Perhaps with a new paint sculpt or maybe with something different, maybe a new sculpted head or a different sort of paint within his robes. As we've seen, a variant already been produced in the main line of the child. So, kind of surprised that he hasn't appeared in this, but maybe they have a wave to and beyond planned when they do end up releasing more characters from the Mandalorian. We've recently seen images of the armorer. The incinerator trooper word on the street is is that Moff Gideon is coming along with Quill and Grief Karga. So those are characters that seem to be upcoming from the Mandalorian that I'm sure will probably get this treatment also. Are you going to be buying this line? Do you think that this will be a very sought after line? Or do you think that this is something that maybe you could pass on? Are you disappointed that we didn't just get a standard Mandalorian with a retro card? Because I personally think that that would have looked absolutely phenomenal. I'm not quite sure where Hasbro have decided to get these repaints from. But here we are and this is what they are doing now. This is the way of Hasbro. Going to leave it there. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment below. And good luck.